Not everyone is ready to make the jump to electric just yet, but there is a way of dipping your toes in the water without diving all the way in. Let me introduce you to the plug-in hybrid or PHEV. A plug-in hybrid is a halfway house, in theory offering the best of both combustion and electric. They feature either a petrol or diesel engine paired with an electric motor and a battery, which is much bigger than the battery you'll find in a full hybrid, but also much smaller than the battery you'll find in a fully electric car. The smallest are around seven kilowatt hours with the largest providing over 30. We think the sweet spot is around 14 kilowatt hours. A plug-in hybrid will be able to take you further on electric only power than a full hybrid. So you could get up to 40 miles of electric only range from a plug-in hybrid that has a 14 kilowatt hour battery. That might not sound like much, but the average length of a car journey in the UK is only 8.4 miles. So if kept plugged in whenever it's at home or at work, a plug-in hybrid might rarely need to use its engine. Alternatively, electric and combustion power can combine, with the motor providing useful assistance when accelerating. When blending both power sources, you'll usually have the motor taking care of the low speed stuff, with the engine entering the equation when you're going faster, accelerating hard, or once the battery is discharged. Some plug-in hybrids have a setting that allow you to use the engine on its own, preserving or holding electricity for when you enter a low emission zone or a congested area. Plug-in hybrids generally aren't usually compatible with fast charging, so you probably won't want to pull over for a top-up on your journey. However, since they can happily run on petrol power, you probably won't need to anyway. It's also worth noting that some plug-in hybrids will, under certain circumstances, run the engine as a generator to keep the battery topped up, rather than having it directly power the wheels. We wouldn't recommend this though, as it will use extra fuel and see your miles per gallon plummet. So plug-in hybrids sound like a good balance of electric and combustion, but hold your horses, as there's a drawback, wait. Because they're carting around an engine and an electric motor, plug-in hybrids are usually rather porky. So once the battery runs out, then you're pretty much driving around in a normal petrol car, but with a load of extra weight. And again, this makes for less than ideal fuel economy. So this is why it's vital to keep your plug-in hybrid plugged in wherever possible. Head to drivingelectric.com for the latest electric car advice, news and reviews. And make sure to check us out on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Before you go, make sure you subscribe and don't forget to click the bell icon to be notified when the next video goes live. Yeah.